Hey gardeners, Enoch here with another of our garden journals here on the Urban Gardener. I'm really excited to have all of you along with me as we're growing this season. And if you haven't yet, get down below and hit that subscribe button. Keep following along with us here today. I'm out in the back alleyway. I thought I'd come and show a few things that we've got growing on back here and around the garden because we haven't done a garden journal for the last couple of weeks. So it's time to do a little catch up. So up here on our back fence line in the alleyway here that crosses into our growing space, last fall we planted out garlic cloves. And these are all of our hard neck variety of garlic here. Cloves provided by one of our viewers, Nancy, who sent these out to me a few seasons ago. And that's become one of our mainstay garlic varieties here. As you can see, we're growing quite a bit of it here on the back alleyway. Now back in the back of the alleyway again, I just wanted to show you all also got this area here that I've used as kind of a compost bed, but one that I just kind of threw things on and left it there over the last several seasons. And uh, it was just a bunch of grass clippings and different things from the garden, um, tree leaves and things like that as well. But uh, I pulled out and harvested most of this all out here the last couple of weeks and got some really good compost out of it that we're using in other parts of the garden. So what I did after we got it all cleared out is I put a nice good bed of leaves down on the bottom and laid that out with all leaves from last fall. And then I took the remains of all of the sifted compost that I got from this space and then re-layered that out and then put a little bit more leaves on top of that and now we'll just add garden scraps possibly some more grass clippings and different things and then we'll turn this every now and then and we'll sift it out again next season for some more really good compost to add some organic matter to our garden beds now a couple of weeks back we did transplant some of our blueberry bushes here into containers they were in the ground all the way up at the front of the alleyway there but we put them in these containers and i got them some really good acid loving fertilizer and it's really paying off now as each one of the plants which hasn't happened in the last couple of seasons that i've been growing these in ground each one of these plants is putting off lots and lots of flowers so we're looking at getting lots and lots of good blueberries here as we can already see some of the berries forming on the plant already so yeah looking forward to lots of fresh blueberries coming up here real soon plus on the other side of the fence right along the base on the inside here in between these containers we've got a variety of soft neck garlic that i got from a local market the organic section we split up the cloves and we planted these last fall the same time we planted our hard neck varieties on the other side of the fence and down on the end here there's four right down there as well as four on this side here and these are elephant garlic now elephant garlic 
isn't really a garlic, it's actually a leek. But uh, these ones though, we're gonna end up having to harvest these probably a little sooner than I'd like to, because I've gotta get this area back here all prepared. And I'm gonna build some cages. It's got really good light. So this is where we're gonna grow our heaviest tomato for the Johnny Appleseed Organics Gardening Invitational. So we're gonna have to take those out just a little bit earlier than we'd like, but all of our garlic is pretty much gonna be ready to harvest here in just another couple of weeks anyways. A few weeks ago, if you all watched, I'll put an iCard right up above, but we made a video. We planted out potatoes in a cardboard box. Everything seems to be going really well. I did take a lid from one of our containers to use for the bottom. So I'm pretty sure that's pretty much shot by now with all the rain we've had in the last week or so. We usually grow our potatoes in these containers here, storage containers. I've done that for several years now. And last year, I left the potatoes in the container throughout the winter and now they've started to sprout again. So we're gonna see what happens when you leave your potatoes behind and see what kind of harvest we can get from potatoes grown in a cardboard box. Take a look at these cabbages. We planted these a couple of weeks back in our elevated raised beds that we have here in the back of our carport. These plants are really starting to take off now. These leaves are starting to get huge. It's curling in, so we're starting to produce that head real soon. Should be some nice cabbages. And a quick look here inside of one of our greenhouses. We've got our tomatoes. We've got a bunch of nice little tomato starts here just waiting for their space. In the alleyway to come open so they can be transplanted as they are pretty much ready to get into the garden here real soon you can see they've got uh, flowers they're trying to produce right now which tells us that they are starting to outgrow these containers so they're going to need more space for those roots so we'll have to get them out there real soon and on the other side we've got our contenders for the Johnny Appleseed Organics Gardening Invitational that are gonna get planted out into that space back there. We mentioned earlier when I build out some cages, they're all looking really nice, really strong. I encourage you to check out our video right up above too here that I'll put an iCard for, for our competition video on our heaviest tomato. We had Gardener Scott come and visit us and give us an interview and some tips on growing our biggest tomato yet. Also below, we've got some of our flowers, some of our dianthus and some nasturtiums that we'll be using also for our curated container arrangement for the competition. And in our other greenhouse, it's where we're growing out all of our peppers for the micro pepper farm. We've got lots of really great pepper starts here. They're just getting to putting out their true leaves. So they should be ready to be planted out into the garden plots here in another few weeks. Really excited about seeing how well all of this turns out. So be sure to check out links down below to our micro pepper farm vlogs. And back behind our greenhouse where we are growing our broccoli in these five gallon water wicking containers that I've got in this wooden box here behind our greenhouse. Got lots of really good, big, beautiful broccoli plants growing. Our smaller ones though, are already starting to push up a couple of small florets already. We've got another one down towards the end as well. 
cut those off here real soon and try to encourage some side shoots to grow. But I've got some of these, like I said, these other big, beautiful plants here that are growing really nicely and are probably about ready to start pushing up their florets as well coming up soon. We should have some fresh broccoli to harvest here in the next couple of weeks, which will be just in time because we're gonna have to transplant our peppers into these containers here. So we're getting closer to our last frost date. And here are all those pepper starts growing indoors in the house over the last couple of months. We'll be taking these outdoors this next week in order to start the hardening off process. We'll give them just a little bit of time each day. We'll add more time until they're staying out overnight and outdoors in the garden for the rest of the season. So we'll show you that process here coming up in our next garden journal. But uh, one of the things I'm trying to keep an eye on here on these plants are these little flowers that are popping up because they're in these little small cup containers. Those plants want to produce flowers and produce fruit so they can get that seed. But try to take them off each time I see these throughout all of our different plants in order to keep and maintain focus on uh, plant development and root growth for each of these plants. And when they get out into the garden and into their new spaces and get grown out just a little bit longer, we'll let them resume producing all of their flowers and start producing lots of great peppers for us this year. One of the more unfortunate things about growing in the garden is some things just don't last long enough. Like our tulips here, we've got these beautiful tulips. I've got lots of them all around the gardens, but they only get to grace us with their beauty for only a couple of weeks out of the year. And then they start falling away. Now, as many of you have seen before, I've got this big pile here in the back of our carport of soil. Now, this soil here is just a basic mix of recycled soil that I've taken from plants and pots and starts that uh, we've already gone through and used. And we've mixed it up with more compost and different uh, organic materials in order to revitalize the soil for our new containers that we're going to be growing out this year. And we've got plenty more of these containers other than the ones that are growing our broccoli that we need to fill up and get ready for all of those pepper starts that we've got growing indoors. So we're going to need to fill up plenty of these containers get them ready to go as we'll be needing them to transplant here in just a couple weeks. Also, one more look here for those of you who may not have seen these on our channel yet, but these are our five gallon water wicking buckets. Now I grow a lot of different things in these. This has been one of the coolest additions to my gardens when I first started gardening. I'm so glad I found these things. They work really well and you just can't beat it for the price as well for a container that's going to hold the volume of uh, five gallons for your root space to grow. Now these are just two five gallon buckets, one put in side of the other. As you can see how that net cup comes down below. We got our PVC pipe comes down there too to feed water down into the bottom bucket. We've also got a couple of drain holes that are just a couple of inches up to align with the bottom of our top bucket. Now we've got a bunch of holes we've drilled around there to allow for drainage and a three inch hole that we drilled for our three inch net cup. 
that we're going to fill up with soil and that will absorb the water up into our root system basically wicking it up in there and that way our plants can stay hydrated throughout the warm season we put a one inch hole there in order to fit our pvc pipe that we have here that feeds the water down into our bottom bucket now again you just can't beat this sort of system for your gardens the price and the work it does for you in keeping your plants hydrated throughout that hot season So, all right, we've got most of these containers all filled up. I've still got a few more over there. I've got to go finish up, but it's nice to have these all ready for all those really awesome pepper starts that we're going to have transplanted out into our back patio garden space here real soon as our last frost date is closely approaching. And it's really nice to be able to get caught up with some of the other things that we've got growing on here in our garden spaces. I mean, we've got so much growing on this season. I'm really glad that all of you are following along with me here on The Urban Gardener to see all of this wonderful stuff growing. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below and follow along with us. We'll take a bigger and closer look at our back patio spaces here that you can see. It's growing a lot of great stuff too. So I'll see you all on our next garden journal. For all those wonderful trends, <clears throat> our so all right, we got wait wait. See all of you on our next vid. <clears throat> Darn it, that was pretty good though. Here, the, uh, where's my finger? There we are. We've also got some more varieties of whoa. What are you doing, geek, 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 Georgie? What are you doing, boy? Huh? Yeah, you want to be on camera too? Yeah? Now back in the back of the alleyway again. About that timing a look and catch up on some of the other things going on around the gardens 